y'all. Welcome back. So I am excited to bring you guys this new shopping haul. I spent maybe a good hour today at Michael's grabbing some art supplies for my next art project, or shall I say next couple of art projects. I'm going to be working on it probably this weekend, but I'm pretty sure over the next week too because one of them actually takes a while. Like it's going to be pretty time consuming because there's a lot of detail involved with creating this, uh, that particular art project. And then the other one, I probably will be able to finish today. I'm actually going to start after this video. What's up, D? You finally spoke. This is like your first time joining my video and actually saying hello. Because <laughs> the other times I see that you just be peeking in. What's good? So, yeah, I think um, I would like, like I've said before, I would like to, um, I would like to, like, create these projects on live and I think I initially intended to do that because I actually created a whole um, advertisement like promoting my art days, my paint and sip days that I was going to do with you guys but then I changed my mind because when I actually started painting I felt like it was a spiritual kind of awakening. I felt like it was a, a sacred like intimate moment that I think I wanted to keep to myself. So I decided to, instead of doing it like publicly, like on live, I decided to just do it privately off camera and then just come back and show you guys the finished project. But I will show you guys these art supplies that I got that I feel really happy about. I'm so excited. Now, and it feels good out here in New York City, y'all. I think it's like in the 60s, probably close to 70s. Can you guys guess, before I tell you guys what I'm going to make, can you, can you get an idea just based on these supplies that I purchased today? Uh, and I was inspired by one of my spiritual sisters to create this project that I'm going to work on. Alright, yeah, I got two of these. this week um except for thursday so as i'm working and especially sitting like near the window and my recliner chair i'll just have this candle burning and it brings warmth and i just it brings a nice um aromatic smell to my house so i'm like why not but i really like the way she made hers like i already did a video on this and i like how she included the plants and the stems and oh my god 
which is just, and she included money. It's a, a manifestation candle. She also included some uh, stones, bits and pieces of stones. So she inspired me to make, create my own candles. And I think I've always been kind of like a self-made, um, self-made person who always was more like self-reliant, right? Like my dad taught me that. Like he said, he always taught me if it's something that you can create yourself, just do it yourself, right? Be self-sufficient. And so a combination of my dad's teachings and what he instilled in me growing up and just being inspired by the beautiful soul, Nateri. She's so beautiful. Being inspired by her, like I decided to create my own candles. So I got the supplies. I was wondering if Michaels actually carry the fragrances, the essential oils, and they do. I'm going to open one of these here on camera because I never purchased any essential oils from Michaels, but let's see. These were $8 a piece. I was like, okay, this shit better be strong because I actually Googled how to make candles. And from what I came across on Google, on a YouTube video I saw, Somebody complained. No, it wasn't a YouTube video. It was actually a review. It was actually a review for the wax I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Where they were talking about how, I mean, they liked it. They used it. It, it worked, but they complained about how they didn't like the smell. And that the smell of the natural wax itself overpowered the smell of the oils, right? Of the fragrance. And I'm like, I don't want that to happen. So I'm hoping this comes out. This is bergamot, lemon grass, geranium scented fragrance by Ashlyn. Let's see what this smells like. Oh, okay. Oh, I just love aromatherapy. Aside from burning candles, I love to burn incense, you guys. Now I want to smell all of these. Let's, let's see. Now that you guys got me smelling stuff, let's see. this turns out after I do the mixing. I would love to do this on camera, but now they all start to smell the same. I did get four of these. So I got four of these, uh, not four, three of these boxes and I got one. This little guy here. This is a cucumber melon. Let's see if it smells like the Bath and Body Works lotion with the same name. Let's see. Michael's carries air. I did not expect them to have these essential oils, but it's like, it makes sense. You can't carry one art supply item. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. This is it, y'all. And it's funny because this was a cheaper one. This one was the least expensive out of all four of these uh, fragrances or essential oils that I purchased, you guys. These, this box was $8. I got three of these. And then this little guy here that I'm holding was only, I think, $5. 
But this smells the best. Oh my gosh, I think I'm definitely going to try this one first. So, you guys see, I did buy... Wait, how many of these did I buy? Oh, I think I bought four. Okay, I have another one. So, I bought four candle holders. Hope I got enough wax. I think I did. I think I have enough wax. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to get started. is pretty tall. This is like maybe half the size. Does it say the size on here? I guess it says the size. But anyway, I like these shapes. But then I also like these too. So I got four. Pretty large size when you think about it, but maybe not. I don't know. This is bigger. Probably going to burn that candle while I'm making my own. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. All right. So, and then the wax, you guys. Oh, this thing is heavy. I was like, oh, I definitely got to take a lift. This thing is pretty heavy. But this is the premium container wax or candle wax. This is nine pounds. Uh, <laughs> so this is what I'll be using. And I'm thinking, I guess that you just like put it in a pot. Now correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Don't just let me sit up here and mess up, right? But I guess it's trial and error, you best teacher, right? But if you guys do know, because I'm not really going to watch. I feel like it should be intuitive how to make candles, right? I did, like, take a glimpse at one tutorial, but I didn't really watch it thoroughly. I just kind of, like, glimpsed through it just to get an idea of what ingredients go into it. Um, but if you guys know, like, if, I'm, if you have some special tips, please leave them below. Please leave them below, okay? And how I can make some really great candles. But I'm assuming you just, like, put the desired amount that you need in the pot, melt it, pour it in here. But I do, first, before I do that, though, I do have to attach these to the candle holders. So these are the wicks. I got two types. I got, um, what kind is this? Wicks with clips. But this is like, this is like a, the stream kind, and then this is, this is the wood wick, so I don't know which one I'm going to use for the wood wick. We'll see. I do have enough pieces. This is six in here, and this is nine. So I only got four, so I'm going to expand that. And with that, she said that this glue would work. They said you just use some tacky glue, so I'm going to definitely use that. And I think, yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for that particular project to show you guys. And like I said, I do have two projects. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients I got for my next project. I'm so excited to start with this one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. to say so I think what I'm gonna do is I might add like three stones because I have collected a number of stones and rocks and seashells like over the years um that I placed in my windowsill but this is just some and I think I'm gonna do three per candle just to like add some accent to it. Ah, I'm so excited. Creating is so fun. So the next project, you guys, is I am going to create. Ah, let me grab it. I'm going to.
to create two paintings. <laughs> two paintings. So this is a canvas board for one and then the other. But it's really one painting, but I got two of these canvas boards. So you'll see how I'll do it. They're going to come together with my head in the middle. <laughs> Not really, but you guys will see after I finish. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like complete 99% of the painting. I'll complete like 99% of the painting and then I'll come back and go live to add like the final touches to the painting so you guys can see my work. But I chose to get, um, this is level one canvas board because the other ones obviously are more expensive. So that was a big factor in making a decision on which one to buy. But I think a bigger thing is just like, I'm just getting started, you guys. This is new to me. So I'm not that advanced to be, I think, using a level three. <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning. So when I feel like I've mastered the level one, then I'll take it up a notch. But I got two of these. That's for my painting. It's actually one painting, but you'll see how I'll do it. I got some yarn. And this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Soft yarn, black yarn. Can you guys guess what I'm going to do with the yarn? Woo! There's a freaking bug in here. Oh, guess what? I did buy some um, burnt umber, which is pretty much brown. It's freaking fly. I want to have a cameo on my video. But I did, I don't know how that freaking fly got in here, but he's going to die. You're definitely going to die <laughs> today. So I went ahead and bought this single um, pack of paint here because I told you guys previously, like, my experience when trying to mix to get brown, I had some trouble. And it's basically, I think you mix red, yellow, and blue, but... I tried several times. I finally got it, and what I learned was that my problem, the mistake I was making was I was putting too much blue. So red and yellow makes orange, and all you need is like a little pinch of blue, and you get brown, but I cheated. I just went and bought some, so I don't have to go through that whole process. And I got some metallic colors. So I got... Silver, copper, gold, and bronze, and black here in this pack. And I really got it for the gold, so I am really excited to jump right on in, see what this gold looks like. I can't wait. And I, had, I got some glue. So all of these <laughs> supplies, we'll see what I can make of this, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to come out right. I do believe that for the painting, though, I am definitely going to have to take my time as far as the drawing part. But I know I can do it. Like, I can do it. It is a lot of fine detail that goes with it, but I think I can do it. And, y'all, the grand total, I know you guys are interested in seeing how much I spent on all of this. So, all of these supplies that I showed you guys came to... Dun, 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 dun. 144. Wait, I was looking at something. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. So the good thing is I got a discount because I had a coupon that was sent to my email and it was for like 30% off, I think, one item at regular price. But then she was like, oh, we have a different coupon um, that was sitting in the, in the, what do you call those things? People don't even use those things anymore. <laughs> That comes with the newspaper, the freaking magazine clipping or whatever you want to call it. Um, she was like, you can just take it out of there, right? So I took it out of there, and it was, I think, 20% off all items. I was like, yes! So I actually would have paid 170, 70, 177, I think, but it came down to 144. 144 is like a magical number, so I feel really happy and content with my purchase that I made today. And I am ready to just, I'm ready to just jump right in. The painting, I think I'm going to start the drawings later. 
this evening, but I'm going to jump right into this candle project. So, yeah, I wish you girls some luck. I can't mess this up. I feel like, you know, I baby stepped my way into this whole thing, right? So, like I said, I hadn't really got my hands on painting but prior to this, but I felt motivated to do this, you know, just as a way of releasing, releasing stress and it's a form of meditation too. It's very therapeutic. And I showed you guys my previous pins. I felt like those turned out great. So I'm like, okay, let me step it up a bit. Let's see what else I can create. So I what I I'll give you guys a hint that what I can say is that the painting is African centered. No surprise though. That's like a dead giveaway, right? So that's all I can say. But I will show you guys probably on Thanksgiving the finished product. And I'll also add the finishing touches to it when I go live and I'll show you guys that. So, this is going to be exciting. Alright. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to put some music on and sip some tea while I do this. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys later. Oh, drop your comments below and let me know. If you guys have any tips, suggestions, help your girl out. All right.